Hey guys, welcome to uh, this morning's Epic Strike event video. So, fortunately for me, it's super bright out here, but also, I did take the liberty of... So, I, I usually set my alarm clock to like 6.30 in the morning, so I get up for the strike. But today, like, the alarm went off, because I went to sleep really late last night. I went to sleep at like 4 o'clock, so when the alarm went off, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna have the liberty of, you know, sleeping 30 more minutes, because I just feel like it today. And then I instantly regretted it, just about like 30 minutes later, because, you know, uh, oh damn it, now people, you know, are probably gonna screw up at the strike or whatever, I, I don't know, I worry too much, but anyways. I'm gonna start this mega here, which is the vent item. And by the way, I really haven't really figured. Actually, no. I kind of uh, figured out uh, how, how I'm gonna do my event dinos. Because mega. Mega, it has a hybrid. But I don't really need it because I have like billions of mega DNA. Since it has been in my local. Uh, my two locals. My, uh, you know, my home local, local two, and my uh, school local, local one for the past 10 months so I have a lot of this thing so I've decided just to you know not go all 30 mega because there really isn't a point I guess I just have so much mega DNA so I've decided and yes it's raining again and yes I just took off my uh, hoodie because it's there's that shadow there which is really nice um, yeah, I, uh, you know, I just don't really need Mega DNA. Like, look at my Mega. I'm almost at 30k Mega DNA. It's, I'm never gonna use that much Mega DNA, anyways. You know, Mega Lasukas isn't getting a hybrid or whatever, so I'm just not gonna go full Mega. I'm not gonna go full Carno either because you know it's not safe. You know, that thing might never get a hybrid, and you know, I just wasted so many attempts. That's all I thought perfect solution is whichever one of these two who I see I will just go for her. if I see Mega I'll start Mega if I see Karno I'll start Karno it's like 30 attempts I'm not going to use it all anyways so there's that and of course not going to do Majingasukas because it's worthless um Sun Griptus because it's probably very unlikely to have a hybrid and uh what else I don't know there's one more dino I can't remember what it was. Supidactylus or something? I don't know. Anyways, let me just switch over to my strike team real fast because I totally forgot about that. Um, I'm walking around, uh, walking over here. So, uh, I don't even remember what, what the strike team was supposed to be. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, Kulo. Kulosukis. By the way, one little uh, correction from yesterday's video, I, uh, uh, the calculus was slightly off. Uh, you do need a level 13 delta, not 12 delta, so you know, there's that. Let's see, uh, Kula, Delta, swap in Draco Gen 2. Okay, uh, let's just go for a Raptor, whatever Raptor. Let's find the crappiest one, Charlie, sure. Alright, let's do this then. Should be an easy win. Uh, Kula, then Delta into DG2 and the Charlie. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna put some other down just in case. Uh, not, not just in case, just to like tell you what other dimes be. Just anything over like 124 with uh, with uh, you know, pounds, or not pounds, uh, Rampage on turn one that should uh, uh, do the trick as well. Uh, what else is over 124? Ninja Sukis? No, it doesn't have a double. Well, I mean, all you need is just some dino. Uh, just a bunch of dinos that faster than post Metrodon that does a lot of damage on turn one. So, you know, even if you you, know, you don't want to do it with comms or whatever, you have like, you know, Ranex or, you know, whatever that's super fast that does a lot of damage on turn one. That works. So, you know, you don't really have to do what I'm doing, but I am using these dinos just in case some folks need some help that don't have too many great dinos. 
and uh, you know, obviously the dinos here. I have our over leveled. You don't need this high level dinos. You just need the um, the minimum levels, which be almost any level except for Delta. Delta, which needs to be level 13. And by the way, if you guys don't have uh, Delta at high level, I do suggest highly suggest you guys get Delta at a decent level. It is very good for strike events. Oh, you know what I should do? I should do like a, uh, a list of the dinos to bring for strike events. And the reason why you use Cooler Supes, by the way, is because one, it's faster than uh, Post Metron. And second is you want to null that ferocious strike, or not, yeah, the, the ferocious on Post Metron so it doesn't one shot your Delta when it comes out. Which, you know, yours should be, you know, at least level 13. Hopefully it doesn't crit me. That would be weird. Yep. Okay, it didn't crit us, so that's nice. And the reason why you don't want to get crit or get killed on Delta, and why you want to null that first strike, is you want to impact, impact and run into Drake Ten 2, which does a lot of damage. And by the way, your Drake Ten 2 doesn't have to crit, it doesn't have to be level 15, it only has to be like level 2 or something. You know, Drake Ten 2 doesn't finish, it's something faster than uh, 124 with a minimal amount of damage to do the trick. Okay, let's open up this incubator. Uh, coins. Wow, that's a lot of coins. Try Gen 2, Tarbosaurus, Delta. I don't know why I was surprised though. It's the same every time. <laughs> uh, Triceratops and uh, Spine of Gen 2. Okay. Plus uh, Conk. Not really good incubator, um, unfortunately for me, but uh, you know what? I don't really care. I don't get my DNA. I don't rely on DNA or from, from incubators anyways. But uh, anyway, uh, looks like the treasure chests are still outside. I'm gonna go over and see if, you know, if they're like still on or whatever. Because I thought I thought it was like yesterday only, but apparently not. Oh, I'm doing horrible on this hatchy optic. But then again, it is raining, and my screen is all screwed up. It's very unfortunate. But uh, yeah, anyways, um, hopefully you guys did. Uh, decent on the event, it's not hard at all. Um, I see some people, a very, very small minority of people who don't have Kula Sukas or a Diplo Gen 2. By the way, you could substitute level 11 Kula with a level 11 Diplo Gen 2, which you know, then your I don't, I was about to say your other, your, your Drake Gen 2. Wild Raptor or whatever could be at the lower level, but honestly, I don't see anyone having it at a lower level than level 4 Wild Raptor or level 2 Trade Correction 2, or level 1 Trade Correction 2, but you know. Uh, the, the difference between Diplo Gen 2 and Cool, oh my goodness, I put him in my pocket for a second and it almost bought me an incubator, <laughs> which would have been horrible. Alright, let's open up this chest. I assume it was just getting like 500 out of each chest. Is that like the new norm? It seems like it. I like how they did this thing. Oh well. This was in my discovery video. My discovery video should be in a video coming later of this. <laughs> Today. But yeah, um... That's, that's it for this video. Um, uh, Kula is... The cool is the one with more HP, but slightly less base damage. Uh, Diplo Gen 2's, I believe, is the one with more base damage, but less HP. I think that's the deal, and, you know, if you guys really don't have these those two dinos for some reason, and don't have other, you know, better nullifiers, like, say, you know, uh, Model Metrodon, Model Stegotops, whatever, and Kensho, then, obviously there are more options. <laughs> you can just go, you know, I mean, just calculate, just check out the uh, post metron on HP, which was displayed earlier in this video, which I had it memorized yesterday, but not anymore. It's like 5,000 and something. Just, you know, see how much HP that is, 
and calculate how many uh, dynos you have at uh, over 124 speed, that can rack up that much damage before it takes three of your dinos out. <laughs> so, I guess that's quite simple, but um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys do uh, complete this one. This one isn't hard. It's not hard. Um, you can't cheese it, but you know, doing it normally isn't too difficult either. <laughs> Just be, uh, be aware of the ferocious strike. If you are not using Kula or Diplo, it might destroy one of your dinos. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it, thought it was helpful, and if you did, um, please consider leaving a like, um, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck with your incubators. <laughs> don't don't have a bad incubator like me.